Celluloid is a professional term for film, which was developed by Alexander Parks in 1866. It was made from a highly flammable compound created from nitrocellulose and camphor. Celluloid film was used to write data in picture form by burning an image through a lens. The way the first film was recorded was where light was projected onto a celluloid tape, ran through a reel from a lens, and projected onto a canvas. After a director was finished with the recording process and footage, he then sent off his celluloid footage to a chemical lab where it was then left to sit in baths of chemicals to process for 24 hours. After that, it was given back to the director to review the film. The director then had the problem that if he wasn't happy with the finished film, he then had to refilm it, which is costly and hard to reschedule. Only after a further 24 hours did a director get to review his work again. Also, film is highly inflammable and can degrade over time. Often you would hear the sound of the tape run and stretch in the machinery, and on a couple of occasions, such as a few episodes of Doctor Who, the film had been permanently lost or destroyed. For its time, the celluloid film was a revolutionary product that landmarked the filmmaking that we know today. Some directors still prefer to use celluloid footage as it is a bit more gritty and realistic, and they believe the viewers prefer to watch it. Today, some major blockbuster movies such as The Dark Knight, directed by Christopher Nolan in 2008, was filmed entirely on celluloid, which proves that it's still a preferred material in the modern world. All of the directors felt that celluloid helped them from having their product stolen or helped curb piracy. Digital film is quicker and easier to copy, and it makes it easier for someone to make slight changes to others' work, so they can call it their own. The first blockbuster to be filmed entirely by digital format, which was George Lucas's Star Wars Episode II Attack of the Clones. Prior to this, the Star Wars films were made using models and stop frame animation. Digital film is more expensive to set up with computer equipment, but it's a lot simpler to use and it's easier to film and editors to work on in one day, as there is no long process time for film. Also, technology advances almost daily, which brings in new concepts for editing all the time, that in turn make the job more interesting and enables editors to experiment more without the threat of losing the product. Digital film also cuts down on the storage space as it's now stored on one small unit instead of reels of film. The first widely used digital camera was called the Red One, which came out in 2007. This camera made it easy for the director to move from set to set, as it was light and reasonably priced as well as durable. The film called The Che, directed by Steven Soderbergh, used this camera in the remote location of the Amazon, where he had to film in remote swamps, where he wouldn't have been able to take reels of film. Digital filming made transport of filming equipment easier to move from set to set, as it is smaller and lighter. With digital, you don't have to use a supply cell, and you can upload it straight onto a computer, which makes small, on-the-spot changes to a film a lot easier to do. Film has been around for over a hundred years, and it has only been in the last 20 or 30 years that technology has favoured the digital age. But as technology leaps ahead, the digital age is breaking into new technology, such as YouTube and Netflix, where there is no fee for watching a streamed product. Streaming means a film can be wirelessly uploaded onto a computer and watched in your home. All of these new advances open up a list of piracy problems for the filmmaker, but also conflicts with the desire of putting their name and films out to the public. Would you say celluloid is reliable? I, I think... You know, 75% of the time, yeah, it probably is reliable, but unfortunately that 25% can let you down every now and again. That means either physically uh, tape coming undone or uh, having to reload and overheating, those kind of things. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not always reliable. Yeah, see, I remember when my mum was like telling me stories of like when she would go to the cinema, mm. um, the tapes would often come apart midway through a movie, so yeah. I would have to then pause and try and fix it back together. How do you think nowadays they would try and solve that yeah. kind of problem? Well, I think the issue of tapes coming apart in cinema um, was a big issue. Tapes could physically be worn to death. And I think now with digital um, you know, projection coming into the forefront, 
that won't happen. You know, it will be it'll be the machine that breaks down, not the film. Okay, all right then. Um, would you say copyright infringements are now easier because of digital? The fact that you can see everything anywhere, like you can get certain websites, yeah. you can hold movies now. I think I think digital is definitely more, uh, you know, likely to be um, pirated, if you like, rather than celluloid, because it was a harder process to get the originals of celluloid and copy them across. Okay, well, it's just that you know you can't just put a claim on what you own now. You have to try and go through many different applications yeah. to try and say that it's yours. Yeah. So now anyone can just put their name on it and say, "Yep, yeah, it's mine now." So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How do you reckon they'll go about solving that? I mean. I, I don't know whether they ever will. I mean, because everything they come up with to try and stop piracy, someone gets a way of getting around that. So I, I'm not sure they will be able to. Okay, going to more of the digital side of the camera work, would you say the Red One was a revolutionary piece of kit for yep. digital now? Because yep. everyone goes on when they're filming digital, yeah. the Red One is a new thing. I think the Red One is, um, is a revolutionary piece of kit, and I think it has pushed digital into... Uh, in line with celluloid now, and if not better, okay, because uh, now they've got the red epic that now can do about six K's worth of yeah. uh, pixels now, which is incredible. So it's yeah. like pinpoint. The the epic is um, not only superior with quality, but it does give you the warmth that beforehand you couldn't get from digital. Would you say it could replace film? Because yeah, it's we... the it's the best contender for replacing film that we currently have. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you think that now, because things like Netflix are coming through now, mm. would you say it's ruining cinema, the fact that you're not just going to go down to your local pictures with your kids and watch a film with them, but because Netflix is now here, it's going to get in the way of that? Would you say it's a good or yeah. bad thing? I, I, I do think all of these mediums, Netflix, um, Love Film, uh, even Blockbusters when that first started going, I, you know, and now obviously it's gone, but I, I think um, they have been slowly maybe ruining is too harsh a word, but I, I think um, phasing out cinema is a little bit, and that's a shame, and I think it, it's not the same experience. That's fair enough, I can understand that one. Uh, do you, I know because back in the olden times when celluloid was out and about, mm. people would go out and they'll talk about trying to make all these great films and they could never have the opportunity, but now because of digital, you can go down to a camera store and you can rent out or buy your own yeah. camera. Um, do you like the idea of that, or would you prefer it as the professionals are the only ones who can do that? So, do you like the idea that now you can go out and film your own film, yeah. or do you like it to be left to people who have the education in it? it? It's difficult, because I'm kind of on the line with it. I mean, obviously I love the fact that digital is accessible, because I wouldn't have made some of the films that I have done without it being on a digital format. However, I think for the real cinema releases, then yes you've got to be very careful of where the budget goes to the right people still. Okay. Well. I personally feel that celluloid is becoming a relic of the past and that digital is becoming more accessible and affordable and it's growing in its popularity.